Hello Virgo. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Virgo and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind, these are general and timeless readings. If you want to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there. That way, you will always get an email notification every time my availability opens up. You can also follow me over on Instagram. That information is also down below. I just post more stuff on quantum physics and cool things like that that I play around with because I'm a crazy human and um, yeah, whatever I can't do over here, I do over there. So you can jump over there if you'd like. And as always, thanks so much for liking, subscribing, thanks for just all the ways you guys have supported the channel. Let's dive into this. <laughs> Paper just had that card. All right, there could be something here that you are super focused on. Maybe this is connected to dreams, but there could, this even could just be like daydreaming about, you know? Chamama. Look at you front and center. We're gonna put you right in the middle. So I think you might be Closing up a process, you know something is coming to an end. This could it have even been a long time coming. Whatever this thing is that you're wrapping up right now, you know that it's coming to full-blown completion. Like, you will never touch this ever again. <laughs> and it's a good thing. So right now, you could just be in your zone. Yeah, like really just focused on something. <laughs> and very much in contemplation trying to do some going deep within yourself possibly about someone and it's actually kind of cool because i bring this up all the time that you're right your exact or your counter energy your counter sign is pisces and you do have the priestess coming out so there's some pisces energy which virgo is like it's like when you have your opposite sign, I've always read that you take on some of those traits, like you can access them even though it's not your sign. So sometimes also it can be too that what you might feel disconnected from in yourself it, that you want to be connected to, you can attract in another person. So it's like you might be drawn to a particular person here with the priestess. This could be a very spiritual person, right? So they could be very intuitive or psychic. You might still be um, deep in contemplation about this, okay? Like you are still <laughs> feeling out the situation, all right? And there is, look at this, there's dreaming and attunement. Which is interesting. So I feel as though you could have come across an energy recently and it, maybe it's an even an opportunity. It could be love. It could be financial. Whatever it is, it could be, even be all of that wrapped up in one. What it's showing me is that you were creating something for quite a while. Whatever you were dreaming of, it's like that actually manifested in some form in your reality. But there's something still where you're in processing mode about it. Maybe you're feeling like a little bit held back or you might still be in this cycle of something is closing out. Maybe someone or like you're waiting for something else to come to a completion so that you can like fully go into this. So for right now, you're just in this patient like still feeling things out. How does it feel? How does this whole situation feel? And then the attunement card is pretty powerful right there because I am seeing that whatever it is that you've been trying to line up, your vision, it actually feels like it's coming in here, okay? Whatever that looks like for you guys, that could be seriously a wide range of things. But this priestess card, it could be, yeah, something about a level of awareness. This could be a person that is 
highly intuitive or they see beyond things you know what i mean like they have a different way that they see the world and there's the freaking wow 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 this is pretty really good actually okay um for my sanity this is looking pretty amazing i think i'm gonna put so we have the sun card up above the most positive card in the deck oh my gosh i just felt something really cool with that okay in the center i'm gonna stick with the this is you male or female the queen of pentacles okay you are all over this spread it's kind of hilarious and then what's really cracking me up is that you've got all this water piscean energy that's coming around this this is telling me that things are about to look bright if they're not already okay I feel as though there's the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Cups, yes, and there's the Three of Cups. <laughs> this is kind of hilarious because, first off, I think there's a lot of options or there's a lot of choices, and you could have felt like this was all the same, all these options. You, it feels like to me with this card, this is actually really cool. You're deciding to reach for something specific right now whatever that is you're it's showing me that you're making a choice you've kind of narrowed down an option here and it's actually coming in there were a lot of different contenders three of cups it's like there were some options here it could have felt uh, like you melt you felt emotionally drawn interesting there were three <laughs> and then there were three and then there's like this one that's being kind of narrowed down so it feels as though there's some energies over here that you might have to walk away from at this time or you're like maybe informing things i'm not sure it's like the options are being narrowed down to one one good one there's the ace of freaking swords okay what is that card too oh the fool all right, so Ace of Swords, there's a breakthrough coming in. Oh, and there's the Two of Swords right next to it. Okay. There's a breakthrough in communication and then confusion. <laughs> That's quite hilarious. But I don't see that as bad. It's more kind of like that here's communication here and then there's like a processing about this communication and then there's the knight of swords right there so this is this is such these cards are cracking me up because they communicate themselves in such specific ways that's why tarot decks really trip me out the messages are always different but here's what i can see here there was a lot of stuff that was like you were feeling out your emotions you know that piscean energy where i was talking about you were kind of sensing things seeing how things felt all the while you're focused on whatever is valuable to you or whatever it is that you've been maintaining very virgo like there you are just right in the center things are looking positive with the sun card this actually looks like something very positive is shifting and taking place i'm actually getting this there's communication that's going to happen here it's going to give you a breakthrough like it's going to clear up the things that you were kind of holding back on when you receive this truth communication something that literally gets expressed here from another person when this person ex like expresses this to you when it actually happens i can see that you will be two of swords like whoa i don't know taking time because you will be going through quite a lot of back and forth with this in that two of swords because this knight of swords is like you are just illuminated with truth where i can see you will have all these different like it's like almost you're gonna have to go back to the drawing board of your hermit card energy you have to like go back there because it's like you will have all this clarity and awareness around whatever this is that it's a truth it's like, here it is. And you will literally be in two minds because it's almost like 
this energy will break open into you can take path A or path B. If I choose this, then I have all this, but it also might narrow you in some ways. Oh my gosh, is this making any sense? And then if you choose option B, which might be to walk away from this completely because you have that in your perception, like, and it could be that that's what you're debating on. Like, should I walk away from this or is this going to be my legit nine and ten of cups, like ten of cups? which is like, I will be satisfied with this forever and ever for until the end of time. Yeah. So, which, you know, things shift and change quite a bit, but I'm seeing there you are. And this Knight of Swords is just like this energy down the line is an insane amount of clarity. So when this information comes through and breaks through, you will just your perception it's like you're gonna go back through past thoughts that you had been processing through and you're gonna have to reformulate them with a new frame of mind have you ever had that when you have like someone that shares something with you and then your whole perception is just like whoa that's what i'm seeing come in here so but look at this you have look there's the full card in the queen of wands Whatever happens here, I think that you are going to take a leap. This is a level of confidence. It's not too far off from the strength card because this is like going for something. So I'm not telling you what to go for. I'm just seeing here all of a sudden you're going to have like a lot of confidence build up. And this is a very decisive like I'm going to go for this. I'm going to take the leap. Yeah, whatever. And that could be toward this truth or it's going to give you clarification on this two of swords okay that's what i'm seeing i don't know if that's helpful or not but the queen of wands is a very powerful energy D determination like you wouldn't believe it's like nothing can keep that energy down they will always get back up they will always like overcome any challenges because there's just a level of confidence that they always know they can do that. They will always recover. So I'm seeing that coming in in a pretty powerful way. Let me see what's on the bottom. Oh, the star. There's like this level of hope and you might not have thought you would feel hopeful again, but I'm seeing there's like, there's a lot of healing that's gonna take place here, believe it or not. It's been a process, yeah? So, very interesting. The leap is coming. I don't know. I see there's a buildup coming, but there's an announcement right here. <laughs> I actually really love that. There also could be a split here. I don't know. Like, uh, there could be two people coming in, splitting a responsibility. That was a random message. Let me dive into the extended. I'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you want to join me over there, of course, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Virgo, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.